The stabbing death of 69-year-old convicted murderer Cesar Dizon took place in Post 24, which houses minimum in inmates. They're allowed to do work inside the prison, such as carpentry and plumbing. There are even minimum out inmates who are eligible for outside community work. Prison director Camacho says they have a lot more freedom of movement and access than the rest of the prison population. In this facility, we have all sorts of items in that area. We have uh, tools, screwdrivers, uh, box cutters. Those things are controlled. Uh, even in the kitchen, you know, they have, they have an opportunity to cook meals if they, they, they would like. Two knives allegedly used in the killing were confiscated from the kitchen area, and a butter knife with serrated edges was found in the suspect MB Kodos locker. Camacho says corrections officers are supposed to monitor any potentially dangerous items on a daily basis, but he acknowledged that they also place a lot of trust in prisoners who've reached minimum security status. In the States, they call them trustees. And, uh, you know, with minimum security level uh, or community service. Unfortunately, you know, in this uh, particular case, a, a tragic incident, a tragic uh, incident occurred. And, uh, you know, I just want to impress upon everyone that when something like this happens, whether it be an escape or an assault or, you know, a, a, a death, and it's, 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 it affects everybody. I mean, we, we feel deeply saddened. Also, when such an incident happens, they look at several factors. Did the officer in charge respond according to policy? Was the facility itself part of the problem? Were manpower or training a factor? What we're doing right now, we're making some changes in the, the command structure and we're putting some uh, more uh, higher level uh, officers in, in charge. We're moving Major Anton Agari to the operations command. So we're, we're, we're looking at every single avenue. Unfortunately, sometimes uh, uh, the inmates um, get away with certain things and it's a, it's a, it's a very difficult thing. We have over 700 inmates right now. And that's not all, the director says, because right now there are even more detainees than there are inmates.